Hooker here from thefitmomtribe.com. Um, you can also get to my website by going to heatherhookerketo.com, which is the same name as my Instagram and my YouTube channel, so make sure you check me out there. Um, coming at you live with a little Costco haul. If you are, as you're tuning in, if you will just let me know, comment below what you always stock up on at Costco if you go there. And if you aren't a member of Costco, let me know what are the mainstays that go on your grocery list every single week that are low carb or keto um, so that we can create this sort of resource for other people who are looking for low carb, sugar-free, grain-free, keto-friendly foods to make this transition to this lifestyle. Um, and make sure you give it a, a thumbs up. So, I found some cool new things today I'm excited to share with you guys. Um, let's just start here. Um, so, moon cheese. This is a staple for me and my family. I think these are the best. I like these better than Lisp. And I sort of eat these in place of Cheetos <laughs> or cheese it crackers or any of those other sort of cheesy, salty snacks. So this will be my snack. You can see that the ingredients in this is pretty much just cheese and the nutrition facts on here. One serving size has 70 calories, one gram of carbs five grams of fat, five grams of protein. So these are like a perfect keto low carb snack. The only thing is I will caution you, um, if you eat too many of these, you might have some uh, bowel issues. So let's keep moving. Um, pumpkin seeds. These are another good salty snack. If you're used to grabbing a handful of chips, a handful of Cheez-Its, um, I'm gonna encourage you to start looking more towards like salty nuts to satisfy that salt craving. These are, pumpkin seeds are really great for the keto diet. One serving has 160 calories, 13 grams of fat. It's five grams total carbs, two grams of dietary fiber. So three net carbs per serving for these pumpkin seeds and then seven grams of protein. So these are another really great low carb keto option. So we got those, we got this. I'm gonna lose some of you guys <laughs> with the kale. But if you have ever done like a clean eating sort of lifestyle, like the keto that I follow, I do try to make sure that I am eating some sort of veggies every day. I prefer fresh veggies, but it doesn't always work with my schedule. These are really great to have on hand. They taste just like homemade kale chips. So if you've ever made homemade kale chips in your oven, these are basically exactly the same thing. They are salty, sort of like a chip alternative. You can't really use them to dip or to scoop because they're not that sturdy, but they are tasty and it's a good way to get in some green veggies. There are individual packs in here. Actually, I'll just open this and show you what these packs look like. If I can open it. Hold on. All right, so one serving of these kale chips is a whole little pack. You can see how this is. So these would be great for you to throw into your bag. Oh, I think I accidentally cut that open, which is fine because I'll just eat these. Um, but these are really great to throw in your bag as a veggie snack on the go, especially if you haven't been to the grocery store in a while. Um, so one of these packs has 50 calories, four grams of fat, two grams of total carbs with one gram of dietary fiber. So this whole pack is one net carb and two grams of protein. And like I said before, they're tasty. If you like kale chips, you will like these. Um, if you are anti-kale, like don't waste your money on those. So um, these are something new that I found today. And I love these. I love anything that is like easy for me to grab, easy on the go. Half the time I'm running out the door somewhere 
and I just need something, you know, to throw in my bag. So these are just little salamis with little pieces of cheese. Total calories, 100 calories, wait. So this is 100 calories for the cheese and 100 calories for the salami. But total net carbs for the entire package, you can see here, this is like provolone cheese and salami. Net carbs is less than one. This would be eight grams of protein for the cheese, seven grams of protein for the, no wait, backwards. Seven grams of protein for the provolone, eight grams of protein for the salami, um, a 200 calorie snack. So that's a really good option for people. That's gonna go in my fridge, and that will also be something that my kids really like to eat. Okay, so these, if you've ever had these before, let me know. These are the best olives on the entire planet, okay? They're so good. They are the Mazetta garlic stuffed olives marinated with herbs and Chardonnay, and they are delicious. So the serving size on these, one olive is 10 calories, one gram of fat, one carb, and zero, pro zero grams of protein. So these do have one gram of carb per olive, but you can see how big these olives are. This is a really good snack or like a side. Sometimes I'll just grab like four of these with, with maybe this, and this will be like my little snacky lunch, you know, so. Um, these are delicious, so good. All right, so then we got this Paisana tomato and basil sauce, pasta sauce. So I have been a big fan of Rao's before, for a long time. I've been a big fan of Rao's marinara sauce. It is so good, but um, when I was looking at these labels, so Rao's, one serving of Rao's tomato sauce has four net carbs, okay? And Rao's is a little bit more expensive. At Costco, it was two jars, about the same size for a little over $10. The Paisana, one serving size is only five net carbs, so it's only one more net carb and this was a little bit cheaper. So it was two jars for about $7. So I'm gonna test this out. I, I know that I have tried this before. I don't remember if I love it more than Rouse, but for the price and for the carb count, this is the one that I grabbed today. And um, Kerry Gold, of course. This is like the gold standard. Looks like a golden brick. I love the packaging. Um, this is just the best butter. It tastes the best. It's so creamy. So I also grabbed these because I love garlic. I love cauliflower. If you're keto and low carb and you don't eat cauliflower, like how do you even live, right? So these are brand new. I have never tried these before, but this is the same brand as the pasta sauce. And it's a garlic herb marinated cauliflower florets. One serving size has five calories, zero grams of fat, one gram of carbs, and zero protein. So I think that this is just gonna be another good way to add more veggies into my day. And I would probably just eat this as a side with my lunch or as a little snack in the afternoons. We'll see how those go. Olive Garden, who loves Olive Garden dressing? It really is the best and you're in luck because it is low carb. So it's super low carb friendly. One serving of this has 80 calories, eight grams of fat, which is great, two grams of carbs, zero grams of protein. So you can definitely make this dressing fit into your lifestyle. I grew up in the South. I grew up eating ranch dressing. I am a big fan of ranch dressing, but honestly, since I switched to the keto lifestyle two years ago, I get sick of it sometimes. <laughs> so this is a really good alternative if you just don't wanna do ranch, you don't wanna do blue cheese, you want something a little bit different. So I grabbed that. I also grabbed, look at all these drumsticks. 
This is a lot of chicken drumsticks. And I have, you can see my super easy chicken drumstick recipe. I make these in the air fryer. I think that you should institute Wings Wednesday in your house every single week because it is a really affordable food. It's delicious. It's easy to cook in the air fryer and it's something that my entire family agrees on. So I will make these wings in the air fryer. Like I said, that recipe on how I cook my wings in the air fryer to make them perfectly crispy is on my Instagram. It's at Heather Hooker Keto. But this is something that my kindergartner loves, my fifth grader loves, my husband loves. I'll cook these and then I'll toss them in whatever sauce we feel like. Sometimes I'll even toss like the kids in a barbecue sauce and then I'll toss ours in something a little bit spicier. So I love that you can customize those for every person in your household. So chicken wings will be Wednesday night's dinner. I also got this smoked pulled pork. And I'm not exactly sure what my side item is gonna be with this pork yet. Because if you think about, actually, I think I do know what I'm gonna make. I think what I'll do with this when I think of pulled pork, I think of really southern, like fried, like baked beans, fried okra, potato salad, but I made a really delicious potato salad. Well, I guess it's called a faux potato salad out of cauliflower. So I will probably serve this with a faux potato salad. And then I'll make some regular potato salad for my kids and serve them baked beans as well. This is already prepared, so it's perfect for busy weeknights. Now that the kids are back in school and it has 230 calories per serving, 16 grams of fat, which is great, zero grams of carbs, and 22 grams of protein. So this is perfect if you're busy and you just want some easy, low carb things that you can make quickly. Same for this. So this is beef pot roast, which I will 100% serve with mashed cauliflower. And then I'll serve my kids regular cauliflower because they're not keto. Um, but this is also already cooked. It's, it heats up really fast. One serving has 230 calories, 12 grams of fat, four grams of carbs, and 26 grams of protein. So the, the highest carb count things that I bought other than the olives would be these two. So this is, like I said, five grams of carbs per serving. This is four grams of carbs per serving. And that's sort of just a general rule that I follow when I'm trying to stay low carb and keto is I wanna make sure that nothing that I'm eating during the day is over five carbs. I think that's a really good rule of thumb if you're just trying to get started with this lifestyle or you're just trying to lower your carb count. Anything over that, especially if it has a lot of sugar alcohols, is really gonna hold you back from getting into that ketosis, fat adapted. It's gonna hold you back from weight loss and all those other things. So five grams of carbs max, is pretty much my limit. Um, the other thing that I did grab, can you guys see this? It might be too far. Is um, this 24 pack of Perrier, and it's in three different flavors, peach, lemon, and lime. And I used to be really addicted to Diet Coke. I try not to drink that because it's just not good for you. So. Um, sparkling water sometimes will do the trick. It will satisfy that craving for me. Um, and the lime especially is actually the lime and the peach are both really, really good. The lemon is my least favorite, but when I saw those at Costco earlier, I knew I had to grab them. So if this was helpful to you, if you like these grocery hauls and you want me to keep doing them, let me know below and I will be glad to let you know what I'm picking up every week and how I plan to structure my meals for that week. And um, 
that's pretty much it. If there's anything that I missed or anything that you love at your local Costco, like let me know so that I can look for it the next time I go. Hope you guys have a wonderful evening.